told you in my last video that Adobe released some really great updates at Adobe Max 2020. So we already talked about pattern preview for Photoshop, which is awesome. But I wanna get back to Illustrator and talk about one of the updates made there. Now, I've talked about this before in this video, but Adobe made some really cool updates to this function. If you've ever used Extract Theme in Adobe Color, or you've saved colors and looks in Adobe Capture, this might look somewhat familiar to you. But what's really great is that now you can do all of those functions directly in Illustrator using the update for recolor artwork. So let's talk about how this all works. I'm going to start with the same print I used in the last video. And I've got a few pictures on the page that I want to use for color inspiration. Select your art and go to Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. If you've used this before, you'll notice that the default menu now looks more like the color things window. The first thing you can do is move the bubbles on the color wheel to recolor your print. This is similar to using hue saturation in Photoshop, and it allows you to come up with various color combinations that have the same color harmony as your original print. Be sure the little chain link is checked when you're doing this, or it will only adjust one color at a time. Beneath the color wheel, you can play with the amount of each color in your print. So if the print is very heavy on one color, you can change how much of it you see and make a different color more prominent. Underneath that is a slider that allows you to adjust the brightness or the saturation of your colors. All of those updates are fun, but here's where it gets really cool. Near the top of the dialog box is a button for the color theme picker. When you choose this option, you can eye drop any one of your color inspiration pictures and it will recolor your artwork with the colors from the picture. So cool. If you want to further tweak your colors or save the new colors in the print as a new color group, click on Advanced Options at the bottom of the window and it will take you to the Recolor Artwork window from previous versions of Illustrator. Click the New Color Group folder to save the colors from the print. You can also save the colors in your swatches after you exit Recolor Artwork. Select your print and at the bottom of the swatches panel, choose the New Color Group icon. When the new color group dialog box appears, choose create from selected artwork and keep convert process to global and include swatches for tints selected. Then press okay to add the colors from the print into your swatches panel. Pretty cool, right? I do see textile designers getting a lot of value from this as well as graphic artists, as long as you have the liberty of using your own colors. But I do think that this is a great tool for fashion designers as well. I mean, how many times have you found a beautiful photo that served as color inspiration and you were trying to get the overall look and feel of it? Well, this is a great tool to do that and to help you build your seasonal color stories. Thanks for watching this week's tutorial. If you are new to Illustrator or Photoshop for fashion design, make sure you check out the links in the description to learn more about my classes and for some free downloads. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.